this will be the start of a new series on this channel, okay? There's not going to be as much edits. Uh, if you don't like that, then please leave. But I feel like it's time for me to, to hop on the strain. With the recent successes of like people like Sam Sulek and Forrest Knight who are like documenting what they're doing. Though I don't want to like be exactly like them. I want to do that style of content where I'm showing everything I'm doing. I'm documenting everything that I'm learning. And this is the way that I want to do it. And you may be asking like, what's this thing you want to do, Nazar? I want to show you and document every single part of my coding and startup journey. I'm going to post everything from the code that I'm writing to what I am doing, to the problems that I'm facing, to the things that I'm struggling with, to my successes, every single thing. So that if you want to start a startup and you want to learn from other people's mistakes, this will be the channel for it. I also want to build a community of like-minded individuals who are self-taught coders but don't know where to start. They're aspirational, but they don't know what to do. And I feel like this would be the perfect channel for that. But this first sort of episode slash video won't be anything special. It's just the idea phase and everything I'm writing down. This will be right now, so don't worry. You don't have to wait for the next video. I don't know how often I'm going to be posting, but I'll try to post as much as possible documenting long videos and just going through uh, stuff that I'm doing. And FYI, this will not be a bullshit channel. I'm going to be swearing as much as I fucking want. It's my channel. I'm not going to post a single lie on here. I'm going to show you my failures, every single thing that I've done, just so we can help each other out in this business tech world as self-taught developers. So mostly for today, I just want to go over the ideas of what sort of businesses that I want. Like I've been thinking whether or not to do something in relation to jobs or a coding platform. But being 22, I don't have much experience in anything. Like I've been coding for a couple of months. I've had past jobs. But the main idea of business is to produce something that's valuable for others. And after reading some books talking about that, I realized that my best option would be to help people who have been in my position. So whether that be something in sports or in tech, I, I'm leaning more towards tech because I'm in it right now. And I sense that if I could make something that's extremely valuable, um, I could relate to it more and therefore help more people. And as I talked about earlier in like a, a video, I think that the job tech platform would be the best thing possible. Looking online, uh, I see things like find a job on Indeed or find a job here, apply here. And I sense that the application process of programming is one that's really not that good. And you'd think that because we're programmers, the process would be streamlined and, and much better. But it's really not. Like right now, I go online and I want to apply to like a tech job. I have to go to Indeed. I have to create a resume. I have to apply. I have to wait for a response back from the company. I send in the project that I've made via a different sort of email or like links in my Google Docs. And then I wait for another response. I then have to go in for the tech interview and then wait another couple of days, wait for them to email me back and then do another thing and then another thing. Like it's just so slow and annoying. And I, I get that it's supposed to be slow in some way just so they can pick the right options. But I sense that if I could change something and I could create something that makes that part easier, maybe like a way to upload your code on the platform that you're applying to, and you're able to write coding tests within the coding platform for the company to see how you're writing code. It would make the application process a lot easier. And I think that's going to be the platform that I'll be building. And again, I have not much experience. I'm literally going to go through and learn on the fly. It's not like I'm a senior developer with 20 years of experience. I'm literally like nine months in. I could barely make a database. I've built some applications with a lot of help, but I've never made something quite like this where it's going to be like all public and all really new to me. So it's going to be really interesting how it's going to go. But I'm sticking with the tech job platform. I, I see the value in it. I see that people would like to see and use that thing because I am a developer and I kind of know what we need. Uh, I, I'm not really sure yet. Again, this is like a very base platform.
but this tech job platform would be ideal for the idea that I'm trying to build. And again, I feel like it's important to, to look at these issues and like entrepreneurship from a value perspective. Like we want to see things from what we uh, might like or what, what someone might like, but you, you have to understand that the thing is not valuable if they don't value it. Like it could be the best product in the world, but if someone doesn't see the need for it, then it doesn't mean shit. And after surveying some people online a couple of weeks ago, it feels like a valuable platform for for people that may may want to use it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's it's a confusing thing, but there is value in it. And I think that people would like it. And by looking at it from a value perspective of the person using it, you will know whether or not the product is valuable rather than just second guessing and hoping that people find that platform and product valuable. Now, in terms of what I'll be using and the things that I'll be doing, that will be for a later episode. But for now, I just wanted to go over the idea phase and how I'm thinking things through and what the possibilities of this thing coming true is. Like, it's probably not going to succeed. I'll be real. Business is really hard and it's all about pivoting and stuff like that. And I learned that the more you just understand that and know that failure is just a part of the game, then the more you can reiterate and try again and try different things. So it's totally fine. But for now, building this platform, I'll be starting with the ideas. I'll be starting out with like, not the ideas phase, like the, the what's it called? Like the, the planning process and the UI and the, the functionalities of the site uh, prior to actually coding and getting that stuff ready. But for now, I think that we, should, we could get this thing up and running in a couple of months and we'll just be walking through everything, documenting every step of the way, and just having fun, guys. Like, that's the whole point of this. We're just having fun, failing, trying shit, and coming back again. But what I want you right now is to subscribe and like. I have not much things to do with my life. So this is my life, YouTube, and I freaking love it. But uh, thank you so much for the support. We're at 400 subs. And stay tuned, okay? The idea, job tech finder application where people can find tech jobs, okay? Thank you so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.